Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to uh, just do a little project where I'm going to try and uh, build a car alarm <laughs> uh, in Mestastic, using Mestastic, which is uh, a little crazy, but um, you know, we're, we're trying to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show just uh, Mestastic detection sensor, sensor module and how to use that and um, it's pretty neat. The detection sensor, you can connect any type of sensor up to Mestastic, you know, a Mestastic node, and have it send out a message um, to the mesh whenever it, um, you know, uh, uh, the sensor is triggered. And this could be, in my case, I'm using a motion sensor, but it could be a vibration sensor, it could be a, you know, a flood sensor or a water sensor or a, <coughs> a light sensor. There are many types of sensors that you can use um, in Mastastic to send out a message when they get triggered. So what I have here is um, I've got my cell phone connected to this um, uh, 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 ThinkNode M1 um, and I use this as my receiver. So on this ThinkNode I'm going to receive um, messages. And then I've also got a um, a, a, a Haltec uh, T190, a naked T190, but it really is the same as a Haltec V3, which is one that's over here. And I'll show you how to wire that up in a second. And I've got um, this uh, sensor, motion sensor, connected to that T190. And I'll show you again in, in a second. Then I've just got it on a little kit over here that I can clip it over my car window so that the antenna is outside. Obviously if you want to use it inside your windy house or or as an alarm or, or or at the gate your antenna setup might be different. In my case the antenna is just set up like that. So with T190 um, I've connected this little uh, um, sensor to it and let me quickly show you how it works. So um, now I'm just going to power this little node over here. Okay, I'm going to trigger the sensor now uh, by putting some motion in front there. And um, you can see that I receive a message on my uh, think node over here. And um, it says car alarm. And it says test detected. That's the message I receive. Now, um, I obviously can customize that. You can see the message is, is coming through again. Um, right, I'm going to unplug that. So, um, and of course you can see it in the mobile app. You can hear the ping and you can see that uh, test detected that came through. So, um, how this is configured is um, first the hardware side of it. So inside here I've got a little... a. Uh, Mestastic node T190 and we can see it over there so uh, um, you know it really is just three wires uh, this of course is your antenna wire but there's a 5 volt pad, a ground pad and then one of the pins in my case on this one I chose pin 15 to uh, actually do the uh, uh, where, where the, the trigger will happen and, um, you know, but on a Haltech V3, it's the same thing. There's a, a 5 volt uh, pad, there's a ground pad, and you can choose one of these pins that's not used, you know, like pin 41 or 43 or something like that. And that, that's the pin that will trigger the event. So you could use any one of those. So, um, you know, on the, on the little device itself, the uh, motion sensor, these are very simple. Um, it only has three wires. The one on the outside next to the little orange diode here, that's positive. That's where the 5 volt wire goes. The one on the opposite side, uh, that's the ground. Um, and the pin in the middle is, is the sensing pin. So what happens is when motion is detected, it will put high voltage on the middle pin. So um, in that case then that pin runs into pin 15 on the Haltech. So um, on here I set uh, 
on these uh, little uh, motion sensors I set the re-triggering I set this jumper on the outside so it doesn't automatically re-trigger and do funny things and I set of course the, the sensitivity to its lowest and the re-trigger time to its lowest because I'll deal with all of that in software. So it really is just these three wires, 5 volt ground and the sensing wire from the middle that I've connected in this case to pin 15. So from a software side, if we look at the, the software um, we can see, first thing you must know is, uh, you know, this, you cannot set this up on a default long fast channel. You have to create your own channel and preferably create your own uh, frequency as well. So um, you create sort of your own little mesh over here. So I have three devices in my mesh. I have this think node. Then I've got this node, which I call car alarm. And then I've got a solar node on the roof which will also relay the messages for me. And what I did here is, if I go into, I'm currently connected to the Think node, if I go into radio configuration there, and I go to channel, I will, uh, um, I renamed the first channel, instead of long fast, I renamed that to alarm. Usually there'll be a AQ equals equals, uh, key over here, I just called mine AA equals equals, and I renamed it to alarm. So now I've created my own default channel, right, um, and uh, with my own key. So that's the first thing I did. And then the second thing I did is I went into LoRa, and I did that on all, th all the devices. So in the, the, the second thing I did, I went into LoRa, and um, I set the frequency slot to 83. That defaults to 0 or, or 20, and that would give you a, a 906.675 uh, frequency. If you put it to a different slot over here, and I just chose 83, so my little network is going to run on 922.625 megahertz. So the, I've set this node and this node and my solar node to that uh, new frequency. So I've now moved off um, the, 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 the frequency to my own frequency and I've moved to a different channel on all of them. Okay, now let's move on to the configuration of the actual sensor, the sensor node. And know that you can have many sensors, thousands of them in a network like this. You know, one in your Wendy house, one in the car, one at the gate, one at the water, you know, um, at your uh, pump maybe sub pump something like that so um, I've connected to now um, this node the uh, sensor node where I've connected the, the sensor so if I go into the configuration there I set the channel the same as the other one I call, renamed it alarm and I used the same key I moved to the same um, LoRa uh, network I using frequency slot 83 so we're all talking to each other and you can see that, you know, all the devices, they're in their own little network over here. So um, the only difference on the sensor though, is I went into, if I go into radio configuration and I go to um, the uh, detection sensor uh, module, if I go into that module, you will see that there's a few settings in here. So I, first of all, I enabled it. Then um, I set the minimum broadcast to 10 seconds here. You can set your own value there. And all that that means is it's going to wait 10 seconds before it uh, sends out another message, if, uh, uh, you know, if it's triggered. So you could decide for yourself. The second value there is um, you can have this node the sensor node send you a update on, on its status, so um, you know, whether it's triggered or not. So you can send that, you know, every hour or, or however you want to set that. I don't use that function. Then uh, the text that I want to send, and in this case I just said test, and then uh, the GPI open, and that's that pin 15 on the health tech there that I'm monitoring. So that's where your GPI open goes. Then uh, the trigger type, I've made it rising edge 
And that could be, um, uh, 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 I'll put on the screen all the different options there, but rising edge means it go, it's going from low to high, and that's what this pin does. These little sensors, if you move uh, in front of them, the, the, that sense pin goes from low to high, and it will pull pin 15 in this case high. Um, so that's it, that, and that's it. That's the configuration. Um, so, um, um, and again, so if I trigger this, I move my hand in front there, we can see that it sends out the, uh, uh, the, the little message. Um, if it went through my solar note, it would have sent it out. So now I can be, you know, a mile down the road or two, three miles, and I can still see that um, that was triggered without using the internet or, or anything like that. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.